Todd Agney and Simon Neal. We are just a very small part of a big crowd here tonight, and we're excited to have everybody in quickly. Simon, this, so, is, this is a big match, correct? Absolutely, a nice big match. It's great to have everybody here at Finley Stadium, and uh, thank you for watching 11 Sports tonight's show presented by US Express. And we've got uh, Flowers to the Union in town from Rochester, New York. They are here to play Chattanooga FC in one of the last few games of the league before we go to the playoffs. So, uh, yeah, Chattanooga obviously already got a spot in the playoffs, looking to make sure they get a, a more points during the, the league play. That gives them a bye, and they may give them a chance to have a home game in the playoffs. So, lots on the line with that. Time now for the Honda Power Sports keys to the match. Honda Power Sports, home of motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides, built with legendary quality, innovation, and performance. I guess if you're Flower City, what? You want to have a quality start on the road. Well, you do. You've, uh, it's your inaugural season for Flower City. And they managed to pick up nine points so far. Three of them were here in their early game in April. They got that one new win over Chattanooga. Um, but, yeah, you really want to try and get some more points if you can do a better showing, you know, something to put a mark on the ball for your, for your inaugural season. Obviously, it's not as good as they thought it might have, but they still like to, you know, leave a mark on it. <laughs> and for the Chattanooga Football Club, they should be expecting what and how do they want to counter tonight? What would be one of their keys? I'll make sure we don't do what we did in the first game, because he was at a goal. Um, we played Flower City away, we both beat them both up by five goals. That was great. Um, but obviously, yeah, you want to look to be consistent, not be, you know, assume you're going to win, um, but not to be stupid on at this point in the season, because it can make a difference to the, you know, to your playoff positions indeed. So, um, yeah, an interesting game to see, because both teams at different points they first played in the start, but even at different points in the league now. So it's going to see how you know, it compares to where they started the season, where they're going to finish it, and that's an interesting point too. So, yeah. But lo yeah, lots of interesting points from this game. Because, you know, Flower City do what they do well and we'll come back next year and play better. So they want to learn too. So we watch them see if they grow since they played in Rasta. Good points. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, the Coca-Cola standings, and we'll also take a look at the starting lineups. That's coming up following this break from the fort here in Findlay Stadium in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And before we get to this kickoff, let's go ahead and take a look at the Coca-Cola Bottling Company standings. Coca-Cola, proud sponsor of FC and right here in Chattanooga, the first bottling plant ever. So Chattanooga has done. We're going to put a nickel in the machine to get the standards up. Hang on, yeah. let me find the nickel. I know they've Meanwhile, changed. Look at, this, <laughs> look at this beautiful view while, I, while that's going on. Look at this. Right, there it is. Look at that. There you go. Up. All right, so Cal United on top, Chattanooga right behind them. Chattanooga with the most points, but uh, have played more games to uh, get to that point. So. Uh, Cal United and Chattanooga see pretty much definitely into the playoffs now. The other teams, the top six, will be going through to uh, the playoffs. So uh, the Flanges and Flowers are dropping out. Um, but still both teams want to finish strong if they can do. So the other teams playing it out to improve their standing in the league. Um, obviously, Chattanooga and Cal United streaking away with a big, big gap over the rest of the, the league now. So what do you think, Todd? It looks like... Uh, any surprises? <laughs> well, I, you know, the biggest surprise, I think, for most people, including myself, is when the teams fell out of out of competition mm -hmm. and they reshuffled the deck. And mm -hmm. we've got the now we've got the compressed look. And I know some people were thinking, you know, Chattanooga went from being in first place uh -huh. to right. second right. place right. Uh, in the blink of an eye without playing a match. So that's the only surprise in that. And, of course, San Diego is coming up next. So Absolutely, right. yeah. I'll be in San Diego. Yep. It was an interesting game against them, too, where they went out of 10 men home in San Diego the last time out. So I don't we're having them back here. See how they make it here uh, back at Finley. So those are the standings. We've got a beautiful night here as we're showing that picture. With uh, low 70s, low humidity. It's uh, lovely weather for soccer. Really comfortable. A lot of big crowd tonight because of that. And it's uh, really great weather for soccer and for watching soccer. So uh, just really good. Uh, we, we're always happy to be here with 11 Sports and bringing you the game. And uh, teams are about to get kicked off. Chattanooga on the left-hand side play from left to right on your screen. The dark blue, Flower City in the pink playing from uh, right to left. That is certainly the unusual strip with the, where it fades into the black and the, around the stomach. Very interesting strip, that. But uh, Richard Dixon, our captain, about to get us moving. Uh, Chattanooga's lineup tonight. Let me give you a quick run through that. We've got Adam Rington in goal. On the back four, Tate Robertson, Greg Stratton, Frankie Martinez, and Nick Spielman. In the middle, Nick said Richard Dixon, our caps in. We've got Ian Serro, Alex McGrath. And up front, Taylor Gray, Marcus Nagelstadt, of course, and Damian Rodriguez. So uh, that's our starting 11 for Chattanooga. 
will bring you changes and substitutions as they come along, of course. Don't forget Marcus Nagelstats on 16 league goals for the season so far, leading away the uh, challenge for the Golden Boot for this season. His nearest rival is uh, five goals behind him. So uh, Diacate from Albion, San Diego is the, uh, the next nearest. Uh, don't forget we've got Taylor Gray on six goals, Alex McGrath on five, uh, Ian Serra on four, and uh, even Greg Stratton's on two. So quite a lot of Chattanooga FC players in the, uh, the standings for the uh, striker of the year. But obviously, it's like Marks is going to run away with that one pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever feel like, uh, I know I did, I thought, well, sooner or later, Nagelstad is going to cool off, but it uh -huh. never seemed to never happen, happened. did it? No, it didn't happen this season at yeah. all. And you're right, players do, they, they start hot and cool down or vice versa and they have a you know hot patch and we see it with the pros too we've seen it with you know something minutes uh, Tottenham Hotspur hasn't scored for like six games suddenly gets a hat trick in 20 minutes we're like <laughs> wow so you know it's <laughs> unpredictable part of soccer um, so we'll see how that works out for us too yeah it's so, and, I, and I would imagine as a coach right you, you come to enjoy that consistency well not yeah. only out of him yeah. but out of what everybody else can do as well exactly so uh, and that could be the coach's headache. You expect consistency and then you don't get it and you have to adapt to that all the time. So each game is never quite the same as the last. And previous form, like, like any sport, is never a guide to what they'll do in the future. So you hope it'll be consistent. It makes your job easier. Yeah. But you don't always <laughs> get it. So <laughs> Consistency, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. So Chattanooga getting the uh, first goal kick of the night. Kansas City running it out there. Back into play. You uh, you expect in a uh, a long feeling out process in this one? These well, these two clubs are familiar with each other. They are. They played three times, so I'm mm -hmm. not expecting too much of that. Um, unless Flowers you may change the way they play, or you know they they have a different structure or anything else, then that might surprise us. But I think Chattanooga know what to expect pretty much. But as we were talking, the keys to the match you don't want to get too overconfident. So because like I said, they they nicked the goal off us and beat us in April. So you're like, well, you know, never say never. <laughs> Damon Rodriguez looking streaking in there. Yeah, I would think tonight one of the advantages possibly for Chattanooga mm -hmm. is on the wide attacks, mm -hmm. quite a bit of speed and yeah. talent. Yeah, and this is where we have the speed too. Uh, we have Taylor Robson coming up, Marcus, uh, Marcus Nagelstadt in the middle, and uh, Taylor Gray obviously is a rocket ship, and Damon Rodriguez takes off when he gets going. So, yeah, we've got the speed. It's now using it at the right, the right moment. You and I have both been here on some pretty oppressive nights. This is uh, this is heavenly. That's great. Temperature-wise, isn't this is it? This is great, yeah. It, this is how it should be. It's going to cool down during the evening, and this is just great soccer weather. So it's, it's very nice to play. As I talked to them before the game, and they were quite happy. It's not as humid. <laughs> they are quite relieved. <laughs> There's a great ball to Taylor Gray. If it can keep it in. See, there's that speed we talked about. Look at him go. God, it gets away from can't keep control of that ball at the last second. Quite a bit of possession time for mm -hmm. Chattanooga here at the oh, start. Oh, that's it. And this is what we're used to seeing is, that, you know, keeping the play across the field, spreading it, focusing on the triangles, focusing on possession. That's what I was meant for this possession, possession. Well, you had an opportunity. I know you were down on the field before the start of the match tonight, and uh, I'm looking forward to every ounce of information <laughs> you were able to <laughs> glean from uh, both coaches and par the participants. Right. <laughs> Right, well, I mean, it's, it's an interesting thing. At the end of this time of the season, you expect to have injuries, fatigue, whatever. Nobody's hurt. I mean, y you know, everybody's there. Um, bench is strong. Um, the only person who isn't, isn't dressed up tonight is um, Luke Ferreira, uh, who's not playing. Oh, and that, oof, interesting run there. <laughs> yeah, each, each sport seems to have... So, you know, those times of the year when players get hurt. Yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. and in different sports, it's different times of the year. And mm -hmm. But no, again, I, I'd, I'd like to say, oh, we got, you know, so and so's got a, a pull, so and so's got a, a strain, but right. nobody's got it. I mean, they're, they're all fit. And I watch them warming up, and they're fit, and I talk to the players and I, in the locker room for a minute, talk to Rod, and he said, yeah, we feel good. And I, I, I'm like, great. I mean, it's. Doesn't give us anything to talk about, but it's, <laughs> but it's a good thing to have. <laughs> it's a good um, thing to have. So I talked to Juan, and he was, you know, I said, you're the most popular man in the stadium tonight, Juan. He said, no, it's not me. It's the bobblehead, which they've been giving away bobbleheads uh, of, of Juan tonight. 
And I said, well, OK, I, still, I think it's you. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, he, he's in great shape. And he, him and Richard have warmed the guys up. Here comes Taylor Gray now. Uh, Alex uh, McGrath went yeah. down appealing uh, for the foul in the penalty. Absolutely. Wow. Didn't get one. So it was it was it was uh, it was a challenge to stay on sides, and then once you mm -hmm. did, to get taken out of the play is yeah. awfully frustrating. It is because he was coming into the middle like oh. he does to uh, touch the ball into the net. So corner Richard Anuga. Oh, we're talking about it's because we shout out to Alex's dad Ian watching in Spennymore, staying up late tonight, and his buddy Henry, the Spennymore crew. Hello, folks. Out of the set here. Here it comes. Oh, that deflection. Ian Rodriguez can't keep it in, and that's a goal kick. So you've, you've seen almost all the corner kicks here this year. Mm -hmm. Chattanooga has has a tendency to prefer the header. They try to time yeah. that up. They're He's basically going yeah. for the uh, the long ball dipping across the box. Um, and usually it's uh, Taylor and McGrath that take the, the dead ball kicks, and they're the ones that do those. Um, that seems to be the short. There's been a few short ones. They they try and mix it up, but generally it's, it's, it's drifting at the box, looking for a head. And we have the tall defenders. We you know Colin Strip, right. Nick Spielman, uh, Greg Stratton, who are you know come up from the back for the for the corners. Why Flower City is trying to build out of this, but mm -hmm. there's just not a lot of room. And the defense mm -hmm. is uh, they've marked all their they've marked everybody quite well. Right. Well, Flower City are coming off a three-week break, so they should be pretty fresh. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have that trouble down here from Rochester to New York, which is a you know, fair old journey, but nevertheless, they haven't played a game for quite a while, so they should be fresh. Fresh, but maybe rusty. Maybe fresh, but that's also a possibility. If you don't play enough, then you can, you can be rusty as well. Jack New course, is going off that midweek game at uh, Michigan Stars, which was the nil-nil draw. So they're, they're still very much in the groove. And, of course, Jack New playing again Wednesday night against Albion San Diego, so plenty of soccer to come here at Finley Stadium then now it's okay to say that you've had that one circled on your calendar for, for <laughs> quite some time it's a we won't uh, we won't judge you if you tell us that <laughs> if you've looked ahead I, I look at all of them Todd. I mean, it's all, they're all good really honestly they are, really are all good do you, do you think that the uh, the it could be a myth it could be a fact but the myth of the West Coast teams being better do you think that is held up um, partially, Cali Knights have been very good, but LA Falls, who've been strong in previous seasons, have dropped right off. So right. It, it's, you know, it's hard to know. They have a big, bigger pool of players, and more people play soccer on the West Coast you know, than anywhere, really. Um, so they have a lot of players up there. And it's, it's a draw because they can play all year round because the weather's so good. And it's, it's a draw for players for you know, Mexico and Latin America, too. So they, they've got, you know, a lot going from that sense. But, um, I don't know, you get a lot of pockets where the soccer's good. Obviously, Chattanooga is one of them. And we're lucky to have it right on our doorstep. But, uh, there are soccer areas like Austin in Texas is one, and you know, um, Charlotte, North Carolina, Winston-Salem, where there's a big, strong college scene, too. That makes a difference. Aggressive play here. Uh, there's one up in, um, I don't know where it is now, um, one of my friend's coaches up there, <laughs> way, way up in the north, and he has a real strong pocket of soccer players to pick, pick from for his college team. So. Now, neither team without a shot so far, but Chattanooga has seemed to have a bit of the upper hand. More of the possession, more yeah. of the press, as, as we thought going into the first 10 minutes here, so, yeah. So, I think Chattanooga trying to force anything to happen, just that they're waiting to see whether the gaps appear on their own, and then they take advantage of them. Maybe more of a cautious beginning for Flower City. Mm -hmm. Sure. They, they know that Chattanooga can hurt them. They've hurt them twice at home. They don't want to expose themselves too much. Because um, generally, once that first goal comes in, others follow. And they don't want to do that again. It's just, you know, it's not good for your morale and everything else. They love your yeah. league position, so you really don't want to do that. But So there yeah, is cautiousness. But yeah, they are, I wouldn't say they're parking the bus, but they're, they're thinking about it. <laughs> uh, need to be cautious with... Uh, Gray right here, don't they? That's a great ball. Look at that. Yeah. To McGrath. Right on the foot. McGrath turns it in. Tries to slide it across the narrow step. A little more sharpness from Chattanooga than that would about to start paying off. So that's what we're aiming for. 
I'm going to do a quick shout out tonight too to uh, the Hispanic team um, at the, no, it's a lie, the Varsity Girls Soccer Team at Howard High School, which the uh, Chattanooga Hispanic players went to visit during the week and say hi to the girls there, encourage them to keep playing soccer. I'm sure the girls from Howard High are watching tonight, so uh, good for you ladies, keep at it, yeah. and don't, don't give up on soccer. So uh, nice to see the boys getting out and encouraging the local high school teams as well. Which is the where the next players for CFC are going to come? Right. <laughs> well, it's Both the women and the men. And those those students get introduced to the development programs, and well, that's it. Yeah, so. it's always great to have that. So yeah, we obviously want to have more of that. Then we get more Damon Rodriguez as <laughs> coming up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what you want to have. That would be the goal. Absolutely. For sure. So Chattanooga again focusing on the spread then putting it down the wing, take the drive, steaming three, three or four players. It's been more of a, a, a wide approach to this mm -hmm. rather than a central approach it so has. far. Yeah, route one has not been taken. Mm. It's, it's looking at the wings with, with Gray and Rodriguez. And then McGrath sneaking in there from the midfield, chips it across. And off the uh, crossbar, the football goal. Yeah. So. Now Chattanooga, is what, they've sent it across the mouth of the goal in the box mm -hmm. twice. Right. And and then that errant shot there. Yep. Got to find a Chattanooga player to receive it. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a slow start. That's something I've perfected, the slow right. start. Right, right, right. right. That's, what <laughs> I, that's what I heard about you, yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> My father-in-law was, oh. was uh, fond of saying that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it like says this is a good week for soccer. We got this game, we got uh, Albion San Diego Wednesday night, and we've got a friendly on October the first. Uh, we've got a bonus game. Charlotte FC's uh, MLS Next Pro team are coming to join us. Uh, you know, Charlotte FC have a new MLS team in Charlotte, and they're coming for a friendly game on Saturday, October the first. So uh, we'll bring you that coverage too, getting to know our neighbours for the new MLS team. You just, uh, you feel like Chattanooga at some point here lulling Flower City. Mm -hmm. Not to sleep, but maybe into making a mistake. Right. Look at Taylor Gray. Look at him. Getting so hard to get hold of. And then. What is his future? McGrath goes down again. Who? Taylor Gray? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he stays with us for a long time. <laughs> I think he's great. I think he's an absolutely excellent player. Um, he's got the right attitude and uh, scores, scores plenty of goals. So, but. Uh, They'll like say we'll see how things work out at the end of the season. Uh, that's not my decision, but <laughs> it's uh, yeah. I mean, a lot of these guys, you know, in this team, be great to see play year in year out. And then you get the become a CFC legend like Juan Hernandez. <laughs> Do you see him so. being a next level guy or? Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they've all got potential. And we Front. that's one of the the bittersweet things about watching soccer at this level is that the uh, a lot of the players do go on to to play pro uh, either here or abroad. And we, we've sent some players to MLS, and we've sent some to pro teams in England and in Europe. So, yeah, I mean, that that's what this team does. Like they stay with us or they, they step on as their career develops, and that's that's fine. So, um, but there's quite a few of these guys I follow on social media, and, you know, they're playing English teams in Scotland, and they're, you know, enjoying their pro, pro careers, and that's, that's great. Flower City really with a lack of offense here. And we're already 14 and a half minutes into this, and this might be their deepest threat and run of the night. Yeah, yeah it just runs out. And Spielman lets that one run out. Safely for Alec to uh, take the goal kick. Is there any coaching challenge at all in front of Coach Underwood in the sense that you play tonight mm -hmm. and you've got something on Wednesday that's mm -hmm. of equal importance? Right. Uh, Just make sure, I mean, you probably rotate the squad. We've got, what, seven right in the bench, so we could rotate the squad in the second half. Um, I know they have Colin Stripling and Tate Robertson on the bench, who are usually starters, so I wouldn't be too surprised they come on the second half. Um, usually one of them comes on to rest the Ancero, so, you know. 
I bet we'll see some of that again tonight, about trying to second guess Rod's own ideas, but that's what we've seen before. This is a very familiar starting 11. So, but yeah, I mean, just watch, don't, don't get any knocks or doing silly, but at the same time, keep going fresh. It's a balancing act. Look at that, they've got three on <laughs> Rodriguez, he had three defenders that they come off. And he still managed to elude the first two, didn't he? Get, and that's still great because that means they're taking defenders away from the middle right. of the penalty box where Marcus Nagelstadt is lurking. So it's like, hey, <laughs> that's what you want to do. That's fine, but it's really better to only have one-on-one. -on -one. Any any sense to the idea that if you get up early enough, it's it's good news because now you can throttle back and play some players. Some well, there is that, minutes. but then you people tend we've seen that too. People get an early goal and they back off a little bit, and then suddenly the opposing team scores one yeah. and two, and it's like uh oh, and you've got to pick up again. So um, I don't think there's a point where you can relax too much, uh, and also we've seen that in one of my writes that some of the previous seasons that we played like really well we played like 85 minutes of soccer and then we switched off and let a goal in and we were like what happened you know <laughs> so uh, they were, and the pros do it too everybody does it so all right referee's given a foul there for some pushing flower city not not thrilled about that sometimes the worst lead can be a two nothing lead oh uh, well that's it well possibly yeah. say that's a dangerous lead too but i mean there's all sorts of things to be said about soccer There you see a scoreless match after 17 minutes. Early days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Early days, Todd. Oh, here's the a nice time. Finally McGrath and a uh, foul. A bit of a push to get past the defender. Good move, though. Mm -hmm. Very good move. Yeah. Two talented players, for sure. Yep. Nice. It would have been a very nice uh, mm -hmm. connection on the pass if you hadn't been. Right. Foul hadn't been called. City has crossed mid-pitch on very few occasions so far. And when they have, not necessarily in control, just something long over mm -hmm. the top trying to create a bit of a run. Right, right. They, they are focusing on defense, which is what I expect them to do. Um, great long ball. Trying to pick out Damien. There he goes, and he's offside. Just a touch offside. Flag goes up. So free kick to Blauma City, but yeah, they're, they're playing the defence, trying to have a high line so they can make the offside trap like that. So we're going to see a lot of that, but if Chandler can break in and get behind them, then they can make all kinds of mayhem and we'll see, we may have a goal. So we'll see how, how it goes on that. But patience is the key. There uh, you see the running clock. It's been that long since our Crystal Air kickoff. Crystal Air serving the southeast since 1998. Custom trips available and quality service. I doubt if any one of these players tonight will be involved in the Iron Man tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, I, I can put money on that one, yes, absolutely. And you can put money on me not being in no, no, yeah, either. No, that, yeah, that, so was, uh, that was safe money. That would. We did, yeah. do, we did do laundry today. There might be some ironing at home, but I don't think I'll be doing anything more, more physical than that tomorrow. <laughs> so, bit, yeah. more, bit more aggressive now by the team in pink. And need to try to make yeah, great, it in play. Great put an end to that in a hurry, didn't he? Yeah, pretty much. As he does for a lot of people. The problem is I'm seeing here from the arm bunching up a little bit, which we can see here more than they can, probably down at the field level. When Taylor and the Damien attack on the wings, they're telling to put quite a few players on them, which is leaving them a bit exposed elsewhere. Saro gets his man to slide down and then just walks right around him and yep. advances it. Yep. Patient, so Martinez and Spielman really doing the defensive work, and that leaves... Uh, Robertson and uh, 
Martinez to, to run a bit and under Stratton, sorry, Stratton and Robson run a bit. So we'll see. We started off the broadcast talking about the two of you, the two of us being one of just very many here tonight. This is a very mm -hmm. good showing yep. tonight here at the fort. Yeah, nice crowd. Weather helps too. It's yep. great. And yeah. The winning club helps, right? Well, it always helps yep. if, you, if your club's playing well. Everyone wants to go and see a club playing well, whatever sport it is. So. I'm sure you can hear on the background of the broadcast the noise of the, the chat of hooligans and their drums. They are. As always, noisy and uh, persistent and <laughs> proud, as we should say. <laughs> so. Well, we've gotten to this point without a goal, I believe without a shot on goal, no cards, and a couple of corner kicks. Yeah, a little, uh, little slow at first. Yep. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Sending it yep. through. Sarah's pass, but I don't yep. even want to do that. <laughs> was probably intended anyway. Back to Ortega in the goal, and he's uh, probably working hard at that Rington tonight, I must say. That's a good long ball. Yeah, trying to go over Headed the back. Yeah. Can Alec get to that? Keep it in? Oh, I think he can. Linesman's flag stays down, so he did, did smother it and get it under control. <laughs> Always that that moment for a goal mm -hmm. of decision and indecision, and, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and yeah. any of those mm -hmm. wrong decisions mm -hmm. can can be very hurtful or they costly. can they can and we, especially on, on a a big stage where you're being watched by a lot of people in a you know pro team. One one slight error, you look look bad, <laughs> but it happens. <laughs> Chattanooga very comfortable and just playing it back. Oh, and that's run away that, too. Then. Yeah, that was a bit, yeah, a, a, a bit heavy. Yeah, the, the field's running fast tonight, yeah. isn't it? It's, uh, some of these touches the lads are making are really going quick. <laughs> well, this field this time of the year starts to certainly see a lot more activity. Uh -huh, it does. You've had high school football in August. You've had college Right. Football here and we have college sports. Yeah. I think there's something going on this afternoon right. here too, so the field is yeah. Starts to push that rubberized component down and gets a little slick on top. It does a bit. Yep. And, and uh, this cold weather also dries it out mm -hmm. a little bit. So. Yeah, it starts to be a little bit looser yeah. and drier. And then judging by any time I've been active on that field, which I have to say is many times, uh, you always end up with like a shoe full of a lot of bits and pieces. And you think, where's black stuff coming from when you no, run off the it's field? So it's, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> it does get loose. Yeah, these players will be shaking out their shoes. Here comes Gray. Here he comes. Is it back? Oh, a bit too long. You and I have both uh, had a chance to talk with players after mm -hmm. a match, and it's sure. it's in their ears. Mm -hmm. The black material. Oh, it's on their faces. Yeah, it's the everywhere. It sticks the sweat. It's, it's, yeah, it's, so. it's up your nose. I'm surprised they left, really. Yeah, it's yeah. all <laughs> so many bits of it taken off the field in shoes and kit bags and on clothes, but it's, here we are. <laughs> it's a safety component until you swallow it. But yeah, I don't want to. I'll take your word for that. Right. Take your word for that. Uh, but yeah, it, it's one of the facts. Each field it, the guys play on is different. Some are artificial, some are, are, are natural grass, but uh, we're lucky we have a good one here at Finley, so yeah, we're not complaining. Well. Not complaining at all. And then you have the teams that talk about, you know, if, if they're moving from turf to artificial turf about how the speed of the game mm -hmm. takes a moment or two to adjust to right, that, that right. ball can skip yes. and skid away from you. Now Flower City trying to come through here. Tap's broken up again. And uh, well, Chattanooga yeah. able to kick control. That is their best possession around the box tonight. Yeah, Richard Dixon keeping it calm. Tate Robertson's got Rodriguez ahead of him. Still one behind him. So Chattanooga able to keep control. Marcus Nagelstadt gets an <laughs> outnumbered and one of the Flower City players goes down. Referee quickly spot that. And that was taken far too fast. Yeah, yeah, Richard referee, Dixon just... <laughs> it's not like that at all. Yellow card straight away. Because the uh, Flower City players were far too close to the ball. Should be 10 yards away. It's a... Uh, 
yellow card to number 10 from Flower City. So that's the first one of the night. It's uh, number 10, Giancarlo Carstaquin, the midfielder, gets the first yellow of the night. Silly one, really. I mean, really, that's not a <laughs> sense of one to get. Right. There's no advantage for doing that and hit the halfway line. If you, you know, maybe in an attacking position, but the halfway line, where's the advantage? Nothing. So. Now yeah, Robertson coming inside. Finding Cerro. Cerro keeps control. Here's Robertson see that triangle again. I right, see yeah, quite yeah. a bit of structure here. You'll see we? that all the way through yeah. again. This is what Rod features and it works so well. Long ball. Uh. Too much on that for Damien. <laughs> so it works for anybody. So like goal kick to Flower City as we 27 minutes play, no score. Still nil nil here on 11 sports, but uh, yeah, I think there's a goal coming. Just a just a guess. <laughs> I, I, I can feel it in my bones too. <laughs> Either that or the cold weather has has them acting up again. Mm -hmm. Booted about there and finally controlled by Flower City. And then the takeaway. Yep. It is, and it's also, would you say it's a patient defense uh -huh. of the ball as well? Right, right. right. Yeah. And, and I, th I think if you're Flower City, you could get frustrated, but they haven't. Right. Well, they've had one yellow card already, and right. foul, well, there was a foul on Dave Rodriguez, but the referee doesn't agree, so um, you will see, I think, yeah, a little bit of frustration. They can't get out and make some attacks. They'll be, you know, ticked off, and they might start getting silly or pushy, so we'll see. Two balls in play. We'll have to get one of those out of there. Although that would make things interesting for a couple of minutes. Oh, I'm sure that's one of the the next things that uh, MLS has got. Two it's balls in two the field. In <laughs> that's their next marketing <laughs> move. I'm <laughs> sure something else equally wacky. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, Simon. <laughs> Don't laugh. They probably do. They it. probably oh. might not. Don't encourage Don't them. Don't encourage right? them. Oh, Richard yeah. Dixon giving the foul away there. That's his first of the night, wearing that captain's armband. And I believe it is on his arm until further notice. It is, yeah. Taking out Jay Lee, the number seven forward there. So, Flower City with a chance to do a set piece. Yeah, this is Something there. they should have rehearsed in practice. We'll see how they take this. First really good opportunity. Let's see how they execute it. Deep into the box. Great header. Take Robinson all the way back. Taylor Gray and Taylor Gray gets tripped with troubles. Or Chattanooga and really again, just, just Flower City doing this thing again, blocking the free no. kick. It's mm -hmm. like you're gonna get more cards doing that. It's just interrupting play, and the referees don't care for that. So near collision there. <laughs> well, you, you see two players that. Mm -hmm. One of them is not aware of where the other is. and you Right. Well, they're focusing on the ball, he said so many times. They're right. both their eyes on the ball, nothing else, and so they don't see each other until it's too late, or not even at all. <laughs> <laughs> so. Another foul. A bit of frustration there for Flower City, I think. Some of these fouls were a bit silly. They're not really, you know, helping a lot. That's Austin Cranick, number 88, getting the, getting that. Just 
trying to put some pressure here. Yeah, McGrath and fouls and so. Foul will make the foul city defender. All right, 30 minutes in. Still nil-nil. Chattanooga with a lion's share of activity and possession, so. See if they can turn that into a into a scoring chance. Driving through great ball. Ian Sarah are marked because Damien had three defenders on him. Gives Ian tons of room to make a move. Still got plenty of space. Nice pass back to Ian Sarah. Chattanooga on the build. They can't find a gap. They turn around until they can find one. This is, is patient build up. interesting in the exchange here between these two it is. clubs right now. It is. Chattanooga yeah. putting yeah. the pressure on. If now so they get the ball back, they're, they're on them pretty fast and they have to make a move and pass quickly. Flower City did and not overplay on any of those, did they? No, they did not. That's a great long ball, but Alan Rington, I think, is letting the defenders clean up. And Nick got that one cleaned up for him. He did a good job, so... Six o'clock kickoff on Wednesday. Here back at uh, Finley. Six or seven? Six, I believe. Six? Okay. All right. I was thinking it was seven. I will check on that and be sure. You may be right. Usually it's seven on a school night. Right. <laughs> if you want to be here at six, that's good too. Because you can <laughs> come, come with the tailgate. You can come get a early, good right? Seat, come early, you get a tailgate and a good seat in the beer. And hey, here, I'll nothing wrong with that. So, and some people do. Some people come straight from work and start start the game day experience as soon as they get out of the office, and that's fine. <laughs> so I've done it myself. I have to admit a few times. <laughs> I know you have. I know I have. you have. I have. Taylor Gray, look at that. Ducking around. He's got still got three defenders trying to keep control of him. Gets the ball in. Nagelstadt chests it down. Doesn't find another blue shirt. So um, 7 o'clock kickoff. 7 o'clock. Eh? Thank you. Okay, sir. Richard Dixon pushed down in the box. That's a penalty. Yep. Here we go. Richard Dixon with a straight push in the back as he crossed into the, the, the line into the penalty box. And the defenders know it. They're not even arguing about it because they know they they were wrong. And that was a that was a silly thing to do. Any frustration? Number three is showing is yeah, he's showing I, because yeah. of what he did, not of what right, was Right, he called. knows he's frustrated yeah, with himself. Yeah, he's off for doing that. So uh, Marcus Nagos that up to the penalty box, and of course Marcus will be looking for goal number 17. And we know Marcus can bury these in the back of the net fairly easily. So he's playing in front of the home fans, in front of the hooligans. It's it's a Finley. Conditions are perfect for him to <laughs> do it. Goalkeepers have a very hard time guessing on these, but goal scorers have been known to miss. They've been known to miss, get nervous, yep. they've been hitting straight at the keeper, all sorts of things happening in the penalty kick. You can overthink these. And people do. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. 1 0 Chattanooga FC. Marcus Nagelstadt with goal number 17 of the season. He doesn't the overthink that one. Oh no, fans love it. And that is making the fans very happy. We'll watch that again. Put a nickel in the machine for me, Todd. Yeah. 
Here it is. We were talking about overthinking stutter, it. Yeah, nothing. Stop, right. stop, and then bang. <laughs> Top corner, smashing. 1 0 Chattanooga FC. Now, Flower City cannot kick, sit back. And Chattanooga now have a, a little cushion. Don't forget, you can text uh, goal to 423 445 1002 to win a full Rhodesia from our sponsors at Rhodesia Grill. So a yellow card on Flower City at the 25th minute and the goal on the 35th minute on the penalty kick. And all of that patience paid off. Yes, it did. That that, that Rod's technique is, is to be patient and don't don't force it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But if you can force it and do that. But yeah, Richard Dixon, first time he's really been into the attack and just drove up and uh, bundled over in the box as he crossed the line. And it was clear as day that was a penalty kick. So, please say we don't have uh, VAR here. We're a VAR free zone, which is tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to worry about watching it if somebody's fingernail is on, on side or something. So, <laughs> which a dispossessed good tackle there from Flauter. He could clean tackle. Now, I'm going to take this one again. Chattanooga players, except Al Renton, are all in Flower City's half, if you notice. Even the defenders across the centre line now. Richard Dixon coming up again to feed Taylor Gray. But he keeps it in. Free kick to Flower City, taken quickly. Maybe we'll try and uh, bounce back from that if they can, from that, uh, that goal. Flower City. Salene Stratton on the far side. The nights just love soccer, don't we, dogs? The weather's great, oh. good crowd, right. and Chattanooga are playing well. It's like this is really what it's all about. <laughs> it's uh, ideal conditions here, there on the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the play has been good. Yeah, yeah even uh, when there weren't goals, it was absorbing no, to watch. See, look, it was. Uh, it's uh, look, even watching chess can be fun, mm -hmm. right? If, oh yeah, if, yeah. If, to, if, to, if you know what is going on and you understand that there's a process, right. Absolutely. Oh, there's, there's a great deal to watch if right. you play the game yourself, if you're learning to play the game, you can appreciate the skill and the decision making and all, all the things that are going on. Um, it, it's like you know, the finer points of any, any sport and this is, this is a, always been a good example I found. Well, honestly, sitting back at least, they've got the, uh, the one attacker but they haven't got much else. Just the lone man up there. Here's a rare Look run through run. the channel, right? Uh, Alex McGrath yeah. steaming through. A Again. solo dribble that distance and yeah. the, the flag goes up. Taylor Gray is, is boxed in by three each time. He gets ten on him. So, um, Plows that you've only got um, Giancarlo Canastraquin up there. They're out sole striker. So, they've only got Giancarlo to do the work. Um, so, they yeah, they could use an extra body perhaps up there to, to help him. Um, They've got Jay Lee as well, but uh, usually it's Giancarlo doing most of the work up there on his own when they do break. So, and they obviously Chattanooga have at least two defenders back at any time as they let the, the you know, Stran and Robertson run the wings. So, and those two defenders, Martinez and Spielman, are, say, I wouldn't like a cup against those two big guys. <laughs> 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 oh, and I'll give him there, yeah. Daniel Rodriguez. Take Give down the on the run. Yep. Usually he's the one to get to go down, so uh, <laughs> Damien gets a knock. He gets one back, I guess. <laughs> All right, coming in 40 minutes of play. Chattanooga still one up. Five minutes to go in regulation. Not a lot of stoppage, so I think we'll maybe a minute of stoppage time to add on. We'll see. Flowers well, yet to have a really serious strike on goal. Yeah, maybe you're going to try to put this in the action area mm -hmm. here. and yeah. uh, we'll drop this in the box. Yeah. Pushing and shoving going on there. Hey, I thought Chattanooga did mm. such a nice job. The referee does not, oh, uh, pushing and shoving being silly. I thought Chattanooga did a mm. real nice job on the previous kick from this position on the turf of just sealing off any access to the mouth of the goal. Mm -hmm. It right. seems like Flower City wants a little bit more access. 
Mm -hmm. Trying to find a position. They do. Alec, Alec controls his box. And works the defenders really well. So he's always done that. So he's, you know, he's good at positioning them and shouting out, let them know where the ball is coming. If it's behind them, they can't see it. So here we go, deep in the box. Uh, Ren says thank you, and that was an easy catch. <laughs> yeah. Now, Chatting his chance to break. Seller with a great long ball to Rodriguez. He's got Nagelstadt open. Tries to turn inside. Runs it out for a Chatting to throw. Well, that is good and desperate defense by yep. Flower City, right? It was, yeah. They got back quick. Right. But uh, Seller saw the gap and lobbed the ball up. Didn't quite get the bounce right for Chatting to take advantage of it, but that's okay. Chatting is still up where they need to be. Chattanooga can finish the final four minutes the way they've started. I think they would be very happy with their possession, mm -hmm. their lead, and they're obviously, I think their defense speaks for itself and the fact that Flower City's had very little to capitalize on tonight. Yeah, but they've not really had much of a chance to mm -hmm. break a couple of free kicks they haven't really taken advantage of, and if they have tried to get up in Chattanooga South, the ball's got away from them, so... Uh, yeah, it's very frustrating for them. So, I think they'd like to have had a more, more uh, fruitful first season, but you have to build. It's it's a slow build, some of these teams. It doesn't happen overnight. Nice turn. Nagelstadt turns and gets gets a trip for his troubles, and I think we're going to see a card. Unfortunate tie-up. It was, wasn't it? A yellow yeah. card there. Yeah. Yeah, another one. It's their second one of the night against Flower City. Yeah. One at the 30 or the 25th minute, and one here at the 42nd minute. Card number 22. Is, Brit, is it Britnick? Let me get the get my glasses on. <laughs> yeah, Mitchell Brickman getting the uh, yellow there in the uh, 43rd minute. So. Flowers is defense picking up yellow cards. They don't want to pick up, you know, anymore. So they're getting ready to make, uh, no, not making subs. They're talking to Jay Lee's, talking to the coach here at the sideline. All the free kicks going on. And they've shot your camera tonight. But uh, this is scoring distance from McGrath and Serro. Uh, 23 yards out. Oh, good save. Nagelstadt taking the kick. Serro and McGrath hovering over it. Then Nagelstadt pops through traffic and slams it at the keeper. And you can mm. tell to. If you didn't know it was a good save, look at the reaction yep. uh, mm -hmm. among the teammates to the goalkeeper, right? Sure, sure, they know it's, they know it's a good yeah. save. <laughs> good job at punching that out. Absolutely, keeping it out of trouble. Right, corner on the near side. This could be one of the last plays this half. Let's see. I want to remind everybody at the half that Simon has uh, a guest that he'll be introducing everybody to. Yep, we have a guest at the uh, from La Paz, Chattanooga, who will call the night. They'll be here. I'll be talking to Lily after the uh, second half gets underway briefly. So. And our last guess was maybe an additional minute. Yeah, that's what we're going to get in it, yeah. I think. I see the uh, fourth official flashing his flasher. Now that's an interesting play. No foul. Chance to Flower City to break. Take Robertson, cleans that one up and gives away a free kick. Oh, I think they'll get a yellow card for his trouble too. It's below the wall, so we can't see exactly what happened, but I think there were words exchanged. <laughs> so Tate gets uh, Chattanooga's first yellow of the night. A little bit too physical there, clearing the ball yet. Yeah, there he goes. And if you're unfamiliar with the uh, stadium structure here, there that is brick. And yes, that is that is cement down there. And, it, and it's hard. Yeah, the last 12 inches of that on the sideline is all cement and drainage yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, it's a little tight yeah. at the uh, edges of the the corners of the, the soccer field for both of these. It's obviously it's the right size for football, which is what it's built for. But uh, soccer's the little wider stadium. 
So uh, a little tight in some of the corners. If you're going for a corner kick or a throw in, then you haven't got much room for error, and it hurts when you hit that wall, trust me. So one minute of extra time. Yellow card on number two. Swung in, good clearance again. And a slow flower city. Can they get something to happen in the last minute of play of the first half? Extra time brought to you by HHM. Need more time for your business? Contact HHM. It's a nice attempt to chest the ball across, but it's too strong, and Paris City have to clear that out, and it's a goal kick to Chattanooga. Alec Renton will not be super quick to take this, <laughs> as you can see the clock as well as you can. So, Chattanooga the ball back into play. Coming forward and half time. No, I thought I'd blown the whistle. That was the hooligans ho hooting like they blown the whistle. <laughs> Three yellow cards here in the first half. What do you think about them? Um, like they have none, but yeah, it's about right. I mean, there's bound to be a bit of heavy play in any, any soccer game. There's the whistle to the end of the first half. So Chattanooga up 1 0 for that mark and that was that penalty kick in the 35th minute. So, uh, that's where it stands, 1-0 Chattanooga. As we go in at the locker rooms, look at that digital view. And uh, we'll take a break, 15 minutes. A few words from our sponsors. There's the Hooligans making loads of noise. And uh, Todd and I will be back in 15 minutes. Get yourself a drink, get comfortable, don't go away. We'll watch the second half of the game. It's not in a year until Wednesday night with Simon Neal. So <laughs> we just take a one one soccer night at a night, right? One that's football right. night that, at a night. That's right, Todd, and we're back with the second half of the uh, live game tonight on 11 Sports. Chattanooga FC against Flower City Union here at beautiful Finley Stadium in downtown Chattanooga. It's a lovely, lovely fall night. Great for soccer. And Chattanooga currently in the lead with a penalty for Marcus Nagelstadt making the difference. Uh, Chattanooga one up over Flower City. Flower team traverse play. Chattanooga in the dark blue playing from right to left. Flower City in the pink with the interesting black hoop around their midriff. So uh, a good first half, steady play, and then... Uh, an error from Flower City ended up with uh, a penalty kick to Chattanooga, which Marcus Nagelstadt dispatched very easily and uh, keeps Chattanooga in position at the top of the table just below Cal City, Cal United strikers. So Flower City with lots to do. See if they can uh, come back into this game a bit more than they did in the first half. One of the yellow cards on Mitchell Brickman, who was tasked with taking on Marcus Nagelsdad the entire first half. Right. So something's going to have to change there. Certainly a challenge, isn't it? <laughs> taking on Marcus Nagelsdad is always a challenge. So uh, maybe they'll have somebody else do that one because he's not easy to, to handle at all. So, all right. Throw in Chattanooga FC in their own half. Chattanooga looking to move up into towards Flower City right under the uh, Chatter Hooligans. As they can hear themselves down there. All right, well, that's going on. I've got a special guest here. Lily is here from La Paz, Chattanooga. Hello, Lily. Hello, thanks for having me. That's a pleasure to have you come on board. Now, tonight's cause of the night is La Paz, Chattanooga, who are working to empower and engage the Latinx population through advocacy, education, and inclusion. And uh, I think this is a great place to be. As we said earlier, before you came on the air, we talked about the soccer, and we said soccer is the big game with the Latinx community. It is the big game. It is the big unifier for our community, mm -hmm. particularly because it's um, we're we're across continents, right? But yep. it is it is the game that is in our hearts. Well, it's the world's game. It's my game from England too, and obviously it's huge in Latin America as well. So that's great. So, thank you for being the cause tonight. Tell us about what you do. Well, La Paz Chattanooga, we've been in town for about 18 years, and uh, yeah, we work to look, empower and engage the community, just as you said. We, we do social services, so we connect our community with other resources that they may need to stabilize them, mm -hmm. um, but then we also educate them. There, a lot of these people are newcomers, so we, mm -hmm. we educate them, and right. we um, bring them together. Okay, that's always a good thing to do. Make them part of the part of America, which is always a good thing to do. As myself, speaking as immigrant myself, it's always important to do that. I totally get that. That's excellent. So, what, how big is your organization? You're based downtown, or where are you based? We're based in Highland Park, so we've been there since okay. we started in 2004, mm -hmm. um, and we're not very big. We're only eight staff members, oh, okay. um, but we have a lot of community partners that help us do what we okay. do. Okay, oh, that's always good to know too. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so, if people want, do you reach out? People do they have to come out and reach out to you? How does it connect to people? 
We connect with people in person, but we mm -hmm. also connect with them on social media. You can find us at La Paz Chat, mm -hmm. so L-A-P-A-Z Chat, the first part of Chattanooga, mm -hmm. um, and online at lapazchattanooga.org. Okay, okay, very good, very good. So lots of ways of getting in touch with you guys. You've got a seat in Highland Park. You've got an office people can drop in? Yes, we okay. are on Willow Street, and we're in a okay. re cool. refurbished... Oh! Oh, do you see that? Mark <laughs> Taylor Gray just got a great feed and popped it over the bar. Wow! As we were talking, I thought he was going to bury that, and he put it way off over the street. Mark Taylor, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, folks. Interruption there. <laughs> but it was pretty exciting. It was. <laughs> so, pretty exciting. Um, okay, that, that's really cool. So, um, I think, was it Gladys Canadia work with you guys when they started off? I knew Gladys from when she was involved with CFC at the start. Right. She's a friend of La Paz. Okay. Um, she's a long-time friend of La Paz. She was the outreach person at Chattanooga FC, I think, at one point when we were trying to reach out to get more uh, Latin people involved in right. the soccer there. They're playing. As you know, the... the the Phoenix community plays a lot of soccer at Highland Park. Right. And in Dalton and everywhere else. And, you know, those, right. those are the kind of players you want playing here. People are, you know, good and committed and excited about soccer. La Paz is just a block away from that field, so okay. we're, we're right in the heart of it. Very cool. Very cool. Well, that's great. This is very this is, this is really good to know. All informa good information stuff. So, um, yeah, now, obviously, back to CFC. You're a CFC fan, right? Of course. Good. Good. Okay. How long have you been coming? <laughs> uh, since you guys have started. Oh, really? You've been here since 2009? Yeah. Excellent. That's when I started too. And we were down, there were about 20 of us hooligans down there. Yeah. <laughs> we grew from that. So, very cool. Very cool. So, yeah, I miss mean, is, is a good place to, you know, to get involved with people, you know. Um, do you bring people out here to, to meet more people? Is this one of the venues you bring them to, to meet more people? Um... Yeah, we bring them all over the community. So okay. our, our community is around the city, but um, okay. this is kind of where they're located. Right, right. Well, this is part of the regrowth of downtown, too. Which is something CFC's also helped with as well. So you're doing that, too, which is very cool. Excellent. Excellent, Lily. So anything else you'd like to tell us about La Paz before we go back to commentary? I just want to say again, you guys can find us on socials at La Paz Chat or mm -hmm. online at lapazchattanooga.org if you want to get connected. Okay. Well, that's great. Lily, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks Give so much, Simon. Your time tonight. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the game. Thank and you. And we'll speak to you maybe in the future. <laughs> Thank you. Adios. <laughs> Thanks so much. So there you saw the excitement there. I was talking to Lily about that, uh, that open goal that Taylor Gray missed. That was incredible. <laughs> I thought he was going to bury that one. So... Uh, and once again, the, th the half started with Chattanooga taking the offence. And uh, the flower city on the back foot a little bit. Let's see if uh, what for our city do if they've got a new game plan from the locker room. That's a good cross. Can they make something happen? Take Wallace and says no. <laughs> yeah there's always that that first couple of minutes in the second half where you get to experience the newness of new strategy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sure, this is sure. gonna be a different look and Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. It's the chance for the team to reset and for the coach to reinforce his plan or to give him a new one in the locker room. So, but uh, yeah, going into half time. Oh, Ooh. and there's hello. That, a bit of upsetness. Ooh, that's not good. That is a uh, a bit of aggressiveness there. That was, wasn't it? That uh, could get a red card, maybe. Referee did not like that. If he saw it. Referee tour, yeah, the player kicked the ball away and uh, and actually caught the hand. Caught the hand of one of the Chattanooga players. Is he going to give him a red card or yellow? Is he gonna have boy, I would think he'd have to give him. Boy, if he saw it, it's a yellow. Should be a red for that, but it's a yellow. So, uh, Evande number twenty getting the yellow. That's the fourth, I think. For that's their third. It's the fourth third, in the match, right? Fourth in the match. So, uh, Dylan Evande, the defender. Yeah. So uh, that yellow card sponsored by Captain White McGarvey. I like it as they all are. If you have a foul vision, go see Captain White McGarvey. <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, this kicking the ball away before three kicks are taken is is uh, there achieve anything? No, there has been some chippiness, right? And there has. Uh, and you, is this uh, is this the end of the season frustrations or is it? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of things, I think, with, with the players at this level. It's just annoying. They, they mm -hmm. feel frustrated with themselves, and they 
yeah, find it find it difficult to, to contain it sometimes, but that's part of being a professional is containing yourself. So, so again, Chattanooga hanging on to the ball, focusing on possession, trying to draw Flower City forward so that they uh, expose themselves at the back. So Chattanooga playing keep ball at the moment. Flower City still in their own half, pretty much as we were saying in the first half, not getting a chance, and that's what's annoying them, I think. They start getting out of their own half, getting near the goal. Alec Wellington is, you can't see him on his camera shot, but he's way out of his box. <laughs> he doesn't, doesn't need to be further back at the moment. Chattanooga are first to lose balls, and they're trying to get the passes going, trying to keep things moving, and trying to keep the pressure on. So. Chattanooga pretty much in control at the moment. 55 minutes in, still 1-0. After that lovely Marcus Nagwish, that penalty. He's got two on him. <laughs> He's still holding it well. Marcus Taylor Gray comes in, makes a foul. And I think there's a little bit of drama there going on to it. I don't think it's quite that much of a foul, but Taylor not happy. He so called it, but anyway, there it is. So, Simon, just for some clarity, there was a yellow card. Mm -hmm not only on the player but then a an immediate follow-up yellow card on the bench that's right on the coach yeah yeah so the uh the coach has something to say to the fourth official and then no it's Nagelstadt goes down foul and a yellow card again and is that gonna be is that gonna be is that a vandy it is double yellow card it's a red and he is off flower city are down to 10 men with Vandy having two yellow cards in almost two minutes. So he is taking a long walk to the locker room and he has to leave the stadium. He's going the wrong way, actually. He should go to the locker room and stay there. So that does not help Flower City's cause one little bit. Already a goal down, now they've lost an extra player and one of their key defenders. So uh, not a good place to be. Frustrating all around Flower City. I think you and I both felt like he came close to deserving a red card. Well, that was silly that first Right. it was unnecessary. And so now... Uh, you know, Vandy should leave the field, he shouldn't actually go to the bench, he should go to the locker room. I'm not sure why the officials aren't enforcing that. But anyway, that's the that's same for them to answer, not me. Yeah, this one has turned testy. Yeah, let's see if uh, people can keep their cool. It's, uh, can't blame the weather. <laughs> <laughs> so McGrath, Cerro, Gray, McGrath. Free kick, played different, didn't take a shot there. Cerro chips it in. And I, I have said this, referees don't want this. They don't ever want to have to pull no, out a card. They, don't, and want they don't want to red card anybody. And their challenge now is how do you, how do you get the game under control? but at the same time continue to serve justice when justice is required. Right, right. It's always a I mean, refereeing yeah. challenge. So. But, uh, yeah, in this case, Chattanooga already pressing. Going to press even more. They need 10 men to defend them. Whoops. <laughs> McGrath goes down, but uh, Flower City trying to get away, can't get out. There's that long ball trying to get to Jay Lee free. Yeah, they just one attacker. It's going to be hard for our city to make a difference, and they can't spare somebody else now, being down to 10 men. So they have to play 30 minutes. And they have removed. Men. They have removed the red carded player from the, the field right. of play. Right. And there he goes. Yeah. yeah. Okay.
and that is a lonely, enlarged locker room to be in. Apparently so. Yeah, <laughs> you're not going to be able to see anything. No. Um, so you get your phone up and watch yeah. the stream. Maybe he's watching the stream. Hi, if you're watching the stream, but I expect he's probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> there, so. There's an awfully big shower in there that you can do some damage to, but other than that. Yeah, well. Yeah, and you've got to sit it out for 30 minutes, so a bit frustrating all around. So, Cloud well, City getting ready to make a substitution. Chip from Taylor Gray does not go as far as you'd like it, and so. Easily gathered up by uh, Ortega. So, uh, Flower City again, bring on number five, Nikki DePoint, defender. No, number six, sorry. Yeah, five looks like a six. Andrea Frigroni, also a defender, will be coming on in a moment for Flower City. Nagel Snack ducking and diving, crosses it. Oh, no, just missed it. One could argue that Flower City has lost a little bit of composure here tonight. I would think that that's, yeah, that's oh. a fair statement. Yeah, Ian Sorry just couldn't quite get hold of that one. He's going to be buried that one, too. That's two good chances Jack Negro will miss. All right, so first substitution, Flower City. We're going to be coming on, number 10 coming off. So uh, Giancarlo Kamasiakwin, the midfielder, is off. And number 10 is on the field. Nope. Number 6 on the field. Yeah, this switch around. Sorry, folks. Andrea Pregoni, defender, is on the first. So that's substitution. First one of the night. More to come, I'm sure. All right, let's talk strategy. You're down one. You're mm -hmm. you're so you're CFC. You're up one. What? How does that change your game plan? Um, keep pressing. I think mm -hmm. what I'll be saying: keep pressing, stay calm, and keep doing what you're doing because it is starting to work. Check have check really having the lion's share of chances and possession. So I think we'll say keep doing what you've been doing really all all through the season. Just stick to it. It's working. Yeah, Flower City not able to press with Nick Spielman's there at the halfway line. When you're posing defenders at the halfway line, you don't go to them. You really are having to sit back and maybe try not to concede any more goals, but they aren't going to get a point if they don't press a little bit more. But uh, Chattanooga pretty much having the lion's share in the at least half the field. So if you've got a seat in the stadium on the left-hand side of the screen, you're getting all the action. Yeah. You're sitting on the right-hand side. You're going to yeah. say, I want money back. I'm not seeing yeah. any soccer. Cause it's all down one end. It's <laughs> a very good point. <laughs> yeah, a very difficult situation for Flower City has been made even more difficult being down a player now. Mm -hmm. Flower City really is hovering around the 18-yard box at the moment. You know, you, you mentioned it's it early. Really yeah, S uh, starting to wonder if they look like a team that hasn't played in three weeks more than anything else. Possibly that too, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, rust is a possibility, but they should be well rested. Yeah. <laughs> Give them that. <laughs> so. I'm not good, but I'm well rested. There is that, is that the yeah. argument? That's, that's my <laughs> argument. It might be years, but it not get me anywhere. <laughs> See if they can come forward. It's with a great intercepts the ball, trying to set now with that off, but uh, ooh, it's not a good clearance. <laughs> not <laughs> at Rager. all. And uh, yeah. Chattanooga trying to press on this. Yeah, pass from Richard Dixon is a bit too much for Damian Rodriguez. 
Shanley have got the bench guys out warming up. No subs lined up just yet. We shall for the hour mark when we start seeing changes. Uh, have a flower sit, you're not hesitating. They've got uh, a sub coming on already. Number 14, Carey is about to come on. Fresh legs for them. Come on. Shot deflects. Taylor Gray gets it, cuts it back. Gets uh. it back. The clearance was not a good clearance. And pops out for a corner. Chattanooga keeping the pressure on. Defended there nicely. Mm -hmm. Right player at the right time for Flower City. Just stepping in front and helping the goalkeeper out. That's it. So, uh... Flowers simply have Kerry Quinton ready to come on midfielder. See who replaces in a moment. Corner kick, Chick fil A corner kick. Eat more chicken. Good deep corner. Comes to Rodriguez. Oh, charge down. Good save by the keeper. Wow. Close, close quarter yeah. save. That was really good. Naggles that. Chips it in, flicks it on. Head of the way. It was a save Rath. at point blank, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Taylor Gray still with the ball. Gets round two. Did that go out for a, no, out for a throw in the Chattanooga? Chattanooga already putting the squeeze on Flowers at the moment. Pressed Flowers, Todd. Pressed Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> on for the collection. Well book. said. Well done. Carey, he's coming off. Jay Lee comes off the attacker. They put on a midfielder. So, uh, the City bringing on the defender and the midfielder. Looks like they're trying to part the bus. Not have any more damage. Chattanooga not making any changes. I don't know if they want to at this stage or not. Maybe rest some players for the game on Wednesday against Albion San Diego, which is here. So we'll see. Nice ball. Thread through, but long way from the person it was intended for. Reddington's had a good time watching. Yeah, his, his offense has. He hasn't really it? has. He should, bring, yeah, bring this a, he should bring a chair next time. Yeah. So. He's practically been in retirement this entire match. That's <laughs> ball there, McGrath steals it. Can't quite get possession. Good play though. Dixon keeps it moving, so we're in the middle of the target, man. Taylor Gray again. Just trying to play in those triangles, keeping that possession, keeping it moving. That's a nice long ball. Damien Rodriguez from McGrath. Damien brings it down. Can't get round his defender as he can. Gets round his defender. <laughs> Look at that. Robertson kicks it in, Taylor Gray gets the head on it, but does get good connection. Uh, easy save for Ortega there. Ortega has... Um, Earned his money? Yeah, I would say <laughs> so, yeah. He is, um, and he's made some good ones here in the he last has. five minutes, yeah, hasn't he? He kept him in the game, really. Yeah, that's a good point. Nodded back. Over dramatic there. <laughs> wow, the city, I think that was quite as bad as a tackle as it meant to look like it was. Now McGrath driving forward. He's got Gray open. Back from a great oh. McGrath, and he's called offside. Oh, he's so frustrated with that. Yeah. I thought he was onside. Yeah, and he touched it through, yeah, and yeah. it was beautiful, wasn't it? It was a beautiful one. Good, good move. Yeah. Good, good, good one too, that. But there we go. Coming up on 70 minutes, still 1-0 to Chattanooga FC here on 11 Sports, live from Finley Stadium in Chattanooga. 
and against Flower City Union. Marcus Nagelstadt's penalty kick, the difference between the two teams. I'm sure Flower City would at some point like to try to press a little bit more. It'll be a little bit more risky being a man down. Yeah, it's a challenge being out in 10. So we've got that extra man. It yeah. seems to be at, always at a critical time. There's like a gap where there should be somebody. It's just, and it's psychological too. Mm -hmm. We've seen that before. We saw that against the RB in San Diego game. We were, we were there two weeks ago when they went out to 10 men. It was, uh, yeah, they, their whole demeanor has changed. Yeah, you know, I'm sure they know what the odds are of mounting an attack down a man. Well, that's it. It's got to be all or nothing. They've right. got to get a result if they do it. And so it, it's, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. But teams do rehearse this. They rehearse playing three on two and yep. being down a man. I think it does happen. You should, you know, always practice the unexpected. Because <laughs> it happens. Expect the unexpected, as they say. And Klaus are getting stolen off the ball again. The graph now in tons of space in the middle. Uh, to your pressure. point, some of it can be psychological. You can either take that as being a, a challenge or a defeat when you're down a guy. The graph, Nagelstadt, uh, can't get the shot away. Good defending, Klaus he just broke up the play. That was very good. All the way back to Reddington. Klaus City have put Carey up front in place of Lee. Kerr with the fresh legs is now the attack, even though he's technically a midfielder. So we'll see uh, if he can get it up, get a break on this. But again, relying on one man is still hard. Unless you've got somebody like, you know, Harry Kane or somebody, but usually <laughs> most of us haven't got right. that. Uh, foul called on Cerro, I think. On Spratt. On Spratt. It's a yellow. There's trouble. Two of the defenders on yellows for Chattanooga now. Calling on the uh, coach to check out the Flower City players down. So, got foul vision. Go to see Captain White McGarvey. They will fix your foul vision. Chattanooga had a, uh, a yellow card on the 44th minute, and now here the 71st minute. The one goal all the way back now, right, at uh, mm -hmm. the 35th minute. Yeah, yeah. So, Ronda were giving a few instructions to Ian Cerro. And this is going on. But no substitutes yet. Uh, I can see Chris Nugent talking to one of the players, but nobody is lined up just yet for Chattanooga. trying to find Carey with that long ball but it's one one pink shirt and the sea of blue shirts when they, they do make those long shots so tricky. Nagelstadt leaves it for Gray. Nagelstadt's inside Gray. Gray comes inside. Cerro. Back out to Stratton. Cerro again. Trying to find that crack in the defence there. Stratton. Gray shoots the Straight into Ortega's arms. Nice idea, though. You and I were spending some time in the press box at the intermission talking about playoff possibilities. Chattanooga holds on to the second seed or should somehow become the number one seed, would earn a bye. Mm -hmm. And uh, await a winner, and then play at home. Well, let's hope so. Yeah, that's the idea, right? Yeah, absolutely, that's that's the whole purpose of playing well. Now, Flower City looking like it might actually have an attack coming on. Here it goes, and uh, in the box, trickles away. Scranton has it, clears it to Gray. Gray using his speed and oh. having his shirt There's pulled. <laughs> So no and holding. The referee is yeah, he could not watching that. Yeah. He can't. He's letting play continue. Yeah, he's letting play the advantage. But that was some 
Serious shirt holding, Taylor Gray, and it, oh, gets a foot on it, but can't keep it down. Now, the referee will call for the shirt holding. Oh, number 12, Muller. There's him, the card does give him a warning, though. All the yellow cards waving about in the crowd, though. <laughs> So Chief for Chattanooga coming up, number 30 is coming on. Mm, good friend Alex Hernandez. Yeah, he's got high mid on his shirt, but Alex is going to come on any in a moment. Nice ball, Stratton with overlap, plenty of space. Gets the cross in, but Ortega holds it, good save. Let's see who uh, Alex Hernandez is going to place. Substitution coming up. Damien Rodriguez coming off. Hernandez number 30 coming on. So attacker for attacker for Chattanooga. Just a fresh set of legs. Well-deserved round of applause for Rodriguez. Coming out after a little over 75 minutes of play. Mm -hmm. yep. it's, a, it's a short night for him. It is. He's run very yeah. hard and uh, played well. that you would have touched on now. Carey on the wing, can he get it across? He's only got one target. Now he's starting to build. Deflected off Richard Dixon, out at Warrington holds that one. And referee's calling a free kick. Okay. So it came off Richard's hand or his shoulder. Referee's calling a free kick there. He's just saying it came off his head. But referee's saying it came off the shoulder or an arm, mm -hmm. so... All right. Chance the flower of City to get something out of this game here from this free kick. They've got a drill rehearsal to be able to do it. Yeah, they, they have had a little bit more momentum here in the last five or seven minutes, almost playing better a man down, at least mm -hmm. a little bit more composed. Yeah, the fresh legs are helping, I think. Yeah. All right, let's see what they do. Deep ball. Hit it back across. Reddington grabs it. Good goalkeeping, very solid. Under pressure. Alex Carney Alex Car walks away with that one and Ooh. says, what's the fuss about? That wasn't too hard. Chattanooga has handled those threats almost to perfection every time, haven't mm -hmm. they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You really get a good read on, on the play from Flower City and uh, be ready. Chattanooga slowing it down a bit, catching their breath. Coming up the last portion of the game. That's a great ball. Cerro. Hernandez. Overlapping again, Sarah's everywhere. He's all over the place. He is, no, he's uh, yes, Hernandez. Yeah. Look at this good ball, we've got space back again to Robertson. Another combination. Robertson's turn to go along, gets the cross in, or Taker can't hold it. It's loose, loose ball, and he does get hold of it at the end. A loose ball on the six yard box is mm. keeper's nightmare, mm -hmm. as you saw just there. One to nil, but not by much, mm -hmm. for certain. To your point. Well, all takers kept in the game. Yep. Really. Although I have to say we have missed a couple of 
Easy chance. Sure. <laughs> Should have got some of them, but I think we can afford that at the moment. Gray trying to find Sarah, doesn't get it. Now so we push it out for a throw on the near side. Substitution coming up. Back to this this patient structure again. Build, 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 and wait for that mistake. Mm -hmm. Or hold, I guess, and wait for that mistake. Right. More accurately. Right. <laughs> So, uh, Flans City here bring on number 71, Noah Kavanagh, the defender. Not sure they're going to take off yet for a play. He's in the place. But again, fresh legs. He crossed and uh, couldn't get that one going. <laughs> and then there's trying to get it across. Wins a corner, so that's all right. Everybody else is defending. Richard Dixon was getting a bit of trouble there. He gets out. Opportunity here. here. Gray, Fernandez. Can't get room for the shot. Chanu will keep possession. Stratton with time on the ball. Looking up. City not pressing at all. They're letting Chattanooga back four move into their half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. So the whole game's in Flower City's half now. Nick Spillman's game on the right at the back. Alec Rollington's way out of his box watching. There you go. Gray tries to creep in. Can't get there. Chattanooga's in that position now where you can take advantage of opportunity, but you certainly don't need to risk much. Yep, this is a good place to be. Yeah. And you've got you can see you in the last 10 minutes of play. Now Hernandez trying to come forward. Here he comes. Gets pulled down for his trouble. Wins a free kick. Substitution. This is uh, so Flower City's substitution. Noah Cavanaugh, defender, coming on. So they're taking off. Probably another defender. Six yellow cards tonight against Flower City, and then the red card. Two yellow cards tonight against Chattanooga. Right. And I think things have settled down ever since the red card. Yeah. Seems, seems like I mean, sometimes if you remove the one bad apple, right? Could be that. Yep. Yeah. It's. It, I mean, Flower City know they have to knuckle down and not do anything else stupid. And they got so many yellow cards on. Second one can just you know kill the game. <laughs> so they don't want to do that. They give themselves a little more of a chance. side Flower City slow to get up and take that one. Got the seven minutes left in regulation here. Yeah. And Will, Will Underwood's not going to be lined up to come in as a sub just right now. So we may let this team just play out the rest of the game with the eleven on the field. Good 
Good long ball. Yeah. Who's on the end of it? Ah, little Linkson. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We've seen him stretch maybe, but one time. A couple of times. Yeah. He, but not. Right. Not greatly. Hasn't been tasked to do much, but when he has been, he's he does what he's, he's been does, solid. Does it well, exactly. Yeah. That's what we want from the goalkeeper. Stratton driving forward, back to Gray. Gray across to Dixon, trying to make the spread here. Hernandez looks from behind him, right back to Dixon. The clock management from Chattanooga here too, just keeping possession, keeping it moving. Not too much. Yep, Cerro, Gray. <laughs> These names over and over, aren't we? Just mm, keep it yes, together, it is. They are. I mean, how many times have we seen the possession? I mean, how many consecutive passes have Chattanooga made without an interruption? Right, 20, 30. Uh, just moving it left to right, yeah. trying to yeah. yeah, trying to open it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And as we said earlier, you, if an opportunity presents itself, why not? Yeah, like that. Yep. Nagelstadt gets the shot in, but again, all trade is ready for it. Goes down solidly, saves that one. But, I mean, that was it, yeah, 20 or 30 passes strung together without much threat at all from Flower City. That's I mean, something they will need to work on the next yeah. season. They used up three minutes. Yep, yep, I mean, that's fine. Here's it. Again, yeah, pushing the back. <laughs> Nick Spielman pushing Carey in the back. Not a good idea with referees right next to you. <laughs> you can see that. <laughs> he almost felt it, didn't he? Yeah, I could feel it, yeah. yeah. So, so Kavanaugh are over the ball for Flower City. We see they take a free kick. Not really shooting distance, but still dangerous. This is one of those where you're right, the shooting distance is a bit out, but a friendly ricochet is not out of the question. Absolutely. This is, uh, yeah, James Ward Prowse or Kieran Trippier territory, but not for mere mortals. <laughs> 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 and there it is, goes long. Goes down and that's the goal kick. Taylor Gray all the way back defending. could forgive somebody for thinking if Chattanooga could cross mid pitch here they would uh, use the remainder of the clock yeah for the last four minutes yeah. it gives you what maybe one or two minutes of injury it's, time so it's not not out of the question that they could just spend the remainder of this match playing keep away here right and Martinez Keeping possession, keeping off two attackers off him. McGrath heads it on. Can he keep it in play? Yeah, keeps it across. Good crossing. Taylor Gray's there making use of himself. He's got the ball back. Chips it in. Stratton. Hernandez. Oh, dispossessed at the last second. <laughs> And the foul on the Nagels there. There's a little nibble on the back of the defender's boot. Well, Wednesday night's matchup here promises to be entertaining. It does. I'm looking forward to seeing Albion San Diego again. They were really good to watch and yep. see how they do when they travel. Pushing the shove in there, gives the Fratton Chetney the free kick. Oh, a few words being said. Richard Dixon on the receiving end. The referee needs to stop them getting too close together. A little bit of, uh, bit of handbags there. Well, I said we're not doing themselves any favours, but they're just wasting time. They could be attacking, so. 
No surprise to see Spielman in the middle of that. Yeah, it's keeping it calm. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's a tall guy, if you ever see him face to face. Yeah, he's oh he's yeah. a tall guy and quite no, imposing. So right. I'm not sure I'd be going around pushing him in the chest, but hey, I'm not a soccer player, so <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> yeah, think of a, just there, the last minute of regular play. Chattanooga substitute sitting at the end of the field watching the game. Nobody's going to come on now. Rod's going to leave this team as it is. No flower. City subs. I think this is the, the final le 11 or final 10 for each side. Oh, Sarah's got the ball loose in the middle. Have a shot, Ian. Shot is charged down. Ian gets it back. Back to Stratton. Stratton drives to the corner, goes it through the box. Nagelsack can't get a clear shot away. Flower City. Hoof it into space. Now they're going to go for a break, and the bounce is not kind, and it slows them right down. Thank you, Martinez. Cleans up. So we go. Take the steam out of that and mm -hmm. possession. Ninety minutes is about to tick over. Let's see what the fourth fifth is giving us for time added on. Three minutes. So the referee will keep time on the field. Three minutes of extra time. Taylor Gray, what a great ball it is too to Hernandez. He gets the thing up past the keeper. The keeper grabs it. Is it? I think the keeper was outside the box when he handled the ball. It slipped over the line, and he's not allowed to do that. The linesman is yet yeah, waiting for a free kick because he handled the ball outside the 18 yard box. Let's go see what Chattanooga knew with this. This is an interesting spot. Yeah, it is, isn't Another it? Extra time to do something in Flower City. Trying to get in the way of the free kick, and it's like, what is the point when it's this much time to play? <laughs> Well, it's, uh, it's been a tactic that uh, we've seen a couple of times here tonight. I've yet to see it successful. R right, right. <laughs> I've seen it, but well, I haven't seen it do any good. <laughs> we've used up about a minute now of the extra time. Chattanooga's not in a rush. Carey's trying to come on to Martinez, but he gets it away. Robertson switch side to Stratton over to Gray. Gray. Ducking and diving, doing the dance he does so well. Look at that. <laughs> gets away from him. He's driving nuts. He gets right past him. And there's a great chance for a header from Hernandez. And just can't get it on target. But what a great move from Taylor Gray. Dispossessed by Dixon. Gray clears it. Oh, and he's got Nagelstadt open. He's got two on him. Can Nagelstadt come in? Make a shot. Tries to get inside the defender. Can't do it. Get possession back. And it bounces off his shins. <laughs> what a move, though. Just picking yeah. out Marcus Nagelstadt from back there. Just couldn't get the right angle. Uh -huh. We are less than a minute now of time left. Stratton clears it up the field. And that's going to be a throw in to Flower City way down where the ball crossed the line, not where they'd like it to be. Keep going, he says. The referee's saying keep going. He keeps going and going and going. <laughs> <laughs> not where you want the ball to go off, where it actually went off. Yep, into the last minute of added time. Chattanooga, one last chance for a strike on goal. One last chance for a bit of glory. Spielman sends it long. Intercepted. Two minutes to McGrath. Alex brings it up, looking around him. What's he got open? Taylor Gray again. Chips it back to McGrath. Heads it, no, chests it down. 
Okay, still got it. Three minutes is up. And That's so it. is the game. That's it. 1 0 to Chattanooga FC. That Marcus Nagelstadt penalty making the difference in the 35th minute. Chattanooga FC 1, Flower City Union 0. Have a good win to Chattanooga FC here at Finley Stadium. Thanks for watching on 11 Sports tonight. It's been a pleasure to have you with us. Now, don't forget, Wednesday night we'll be here again at 7 o'clock kickoff to welcome Albion San Diego here at Chattanooga to Finley Stadium. Another great game. We'll see if we get you into that one too. We'll be bringing it to you on the live broadcast. Me and Todd will be here again. Sorry, Todd and I. Be That's right. Again. No, yeah, <laughs> no. 7 o'clock we'll on Wednesday here. night. We'll be here. Hope you will be too. Thanks for sticking with us tonight. Thanks to all our sponsors. And uh, it's been a great night of soccer at Chattanooga. 1-0, uh, three points on the board. Another goal for Marks Nagelstadt in his quest for the golden boot. So for me, Simon Neal and Todd Agnew, we'll say good night. Thanks for watching. See you on Wednesday, folks. Good night.